One of the things I may want to do is instead of using plain text for my navigation links, I may want to add a little bit of flair using something with, for example, a background image. Background images are very easy to add to our existing links inside of CSS. And I choose the existing CSS rule that we have before of our .nav anchor tag and choose to edit it. Go to my background category, choose a background image, and I have a couple of buttons I can use already. One is my button normal. And this looks just like our buttons it did in our previous example with the image rollovers. However, there's no text on our image, as you can see. I'm going to choose OK. And if I hit Apply, you notice I have my button taken over all of my individual links. The same button is used repeatedly. There's a couple of things you may notice that do definitely need to change. For example, the type, we need to change our background color so it can be readable. Now we'll look a lot better, however, if you notice, we only have the top half of our image. So I want to adjust a couple things. When I was in Photoshop, I noticed that our images were 40 pixels tall. So I go to Box. And if I were to set a height of 40 pixels and say Apply, now we're pretty close to being the right height for our image. However, if you notice, our text is way high in our image, which is not how we want to appear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to make my height about 20 pixels and choose the top padding of 10 and a bottom padding of 10. If I say apply, now you notice that we have buttons that are approximately the same height. However, our padding is making it so that it looks centered in, in our navigation link. Now our navigation link is a little bit larger than 40 pixels it appears. So I can simply go in and adjust this. Now it appears actually that our navigation links are approximately 50 pixels tall. So I just adjusted our padding to be 15 pixels on top and bottom. Once again, our anchor text is approximately the same center location of our button so that we look appropriate and we don't look like we have our text way up high or way down low. Using the height and the padding is a good way to adjust. I'm going to go OK. And go to my nav A with my hover pseudo selector and choose to edit this rule my background is going to stay basically the same except I'm going to browse so that I now have my button overstate. Say OK. Apply. OK. Go to my live view and now when I roll over I have rollover images for each of my navigation buttons in my navigation bar. Having only two images to download instead of 12 images to download for all my rollovers definitely makes a much quicker download so that our website appears to be much faster to our end users and helps save on our bandwidth usage, especially if our website starts getting a lot of traffic. Now the one downside to do it this way is that my text and my button is actually pure text and this is a mixed blessing. The good news is that the search engines will be able to read our text inside of our buttons. The downside is, of course, that we're now limited to whatever fonts our end users have and, and therefore we need to keep to pretty standard fonts that everyone tends to have. The other downside to this technique is that we won't be able to place any types of special effects on our text. Things like drop shadows or glows or other type tools.